It's kind of hard to breathe in these. Yeah, in the skin suit? <laughs> yeah. Sucks. Not a fan. Not a fan. I'd rather it be purely ethereal. It would be nice just to like float around. That's what I was kind of getting to like when you can reincarnate as a nebula. Yeah, I'm really sick of this mortal coil. That's uh, It's restricting. Yeah, it's limiting. Yeah, limiting's a better word. I feel bound. But maybe that's the test. You see, the thing about bound, being bound is like... You can be like, it, like it, it's necessary for like, uh, like freedom. Like bound like you're being raped? Yeah, bound like I'm being raped, bound like I'm in a box as well. You're, well. <laughs> like I'm well, surrounded. Well, that's, well, this is the test then. What, what can you do within the box? Exactly. That, what are the, what are the, what are the possibilities? Are you going to stay to what the other boxes are doing? Are you gonna? I mean, certainly not. Are you gonna break into make your own box? I'm gonna I'm gonna trap myself in my own little box. Exactly, that's the test, I think. But you gotta make the box bigger. It doesn't matter about the size of the box; it's what you do with the box. I mean, you want the box to be comfortable. Well, are we not concerned with their comfort? Maybe there's sometimes too much comfort within the box. I could see that too much comfort could be a, a bit of a. A hindrance. It'll slow down things. It could get you lost in the box. Getting lost in the box is exactly what we want, though, no? No, no, no. We want to break out the box. Within the box. Not everybody's meant out to break, meant to break out of the box. It's for certain <laughs> special ones who know that they're out of the box. Who, who's authorizing these individuals? I think we are, right? I thought we were just here to take orders. The ant wait a minute. We're not humans. We're some we're some abomination human, dude. I don't know. We got like fucked into a guinea pig or something. It'd be weird to be a guinea pig. It'd be weird to be us. But we we are us. You wanna know sorry, so this is this is something that's weird. Yeah. We were talking about, well, I guess it couldn't be that weird, because maybe saw me. Oh, we were talking about Bumble earlier. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. I literally downloaded it, like, a couple of days ago for the purpose of the podcast. Oh, yeah. For entertainment purposes. Interta- I've thought about doing things for entertainment purposes as well, so. <laughs> well, because it's like, I've had Bumble before, and I know what it is. Like, I only, I'll download the app sometimes just to see, like, the type of people in the area. Yeah, see how the human ladies are, uh, <laughs> see what they're up to. And kind of to see like what I what what I attract as well. Mm. Oh, what you attract as a as a male. Yeah. Okay. Just see what's going on. See what's happening. Yeah, but um, seeing what's good. It's not, dude. It's so boring. You hit it right on the nail earlier. What you were saying, it's it's when you start thinking over, like we're not overthinking. You're just thinking because it's it's the same stuff oh, yeah. over and over again. Everybody, everybody's playing the, it, it's an app it's and then you're just app looking app. at photo it's just yeah it's not good it's tough dude they're only meant like i used tinder like when i was like in 20 like that was strictly just to hook up with people mm-hmm. like that's like but that's what those apps should be for like you shouldn't try to kind of love you god bless you if you're if it i mean yeah if it's uh like you're trying to find marriage <laughs> god bless you Marriage through Maybe Bumble versus marriage through a church. That's those are two vastly different things. It's like it's being the person to person versus like an, an actual wall between yeah. the relationship. Well the, and the, well, the thing apps just to almost just get you to spark it, right? Mm. So. But this yeah. chair creaks a lot when but, I move. I started noticing that I'm like, is that gonna be No, it's it's a nice creak. It's an okay creak, like a real it's it's fine. I I was gonna overthink it for a second, but you know I wouldn't overthink such a thing. My consciousness is a Saturday. I wouldn't get fixated on such a thing. But I mean, autism is uh, rampant. And uh, have you been around someone who's really autistic? I don't mean. I'm, like, I'm sure. I'm, I mean, I'm sure. I know what autism looks like, like. Really, but like real autism, where they're yeah. just like talking out loud, like. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I've witnessed it. Yeah, yeah certainly, certainly. Yeah. 
I certainly witnessed autism. Yeah, absolutely. There was this girl when I, my first work at the South in Southfield at those offices for the TV for the production company. Mm-hmm. Um, I <laughs> for whatever reason, I thought she was like some like science, like some math whiz something. Stephen she would Hawking. just sit at this desk and play the VR, and I thought she was like testing it, or like I thought she was <laughs> working there to like test the VR. She's working for the government. Or she was, but just, no, like she was like fine tuning like a game or something. But mm-hmm. turns out, like within like, like after a month or so, I really I, I learned like she was just just like passing time, <laughs> and like she was just like hanging out like a daycare type thing. And, That's awesome. Uh, she, yeah, but she was. Uh, not not bad manners. Bad manners. Bad manners. She I mean, like call me boy, like that boy sitting over there. That's like, a bo- God. I mean, imagine being that retarded. For oh, I'm autistic. Oh, I'm retarded. I'm a fucking retard. You just talk out loud, like what a retard. Yeah, I, I and and the bot, the dude, the the owner of the company, the production company. He's pretty, he's like. He's like, I, she displays things on the spectrum. Like, she, I think she's on the spectrum somewhere. It's like... She's on the spectrum. So, basically, I, think, I don't know. You know it's like, what's the up amount, with her? The, the, the amount of, like, loops and stuff that yeah. humans will go through to, like, appear good is like, oh, she's on the spectrum. I mean, she, just, she's a retard. Deal with it. She she works fine, but she's a little retarded. It's fine. Yeah. She's No, she's, she's a part of the Rainbow Coalition, actually, so you should respect her yeah, like any other human. Those. No, she's a human, but she's also kind of retarded. I don't mind that she's retarded, but let's not play some fucking word game. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it is. Yeah, it's just dancing around like an actual truth. And that's all yeah. everything kind of is. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why comics is like, kill us. Yeah, take it by the throat. Yeah, be a killer. You know. <laughs> be a killer. Um, apocalypse, though. Apocalypse is happening. We're talking about people are getting killed. That's kind of weird that you did the the neck thing because literally they're getting their throats sliced. <laughs> no, we do this a lot where we just like pick up on things and we don't even realize it. Mm. Like he's they're they're killing people. Yeah, like you're, it's the scene where his dad gets his neck cut. See, you literally just happened when you did that because he was outspoken for. Well, he just. I mean, they're, the 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 village is getting yeah rummaged through right now. Like they're done. But he knows that there's he's trying to it's a personal thing now. Uh, what a wild time to grow up, right? What would happen to the retard in these tribes? They get killed, right? Or were they there's no like, such thing. Or would they just be like some, There was no such thing as a, a retard yeah, in six hundred BC. Yeah, what were that though? Like were they just like some gimp that everyone just like fucked? They were just a little bit annoying. They were just annoying. Annoyance. They were just annoying, but they were able to hunt and participate in in, in a in a Maybe they weren't though. You should be good. I, sh- I shouldn't change things. If you had it, you had yeah, it. Yeah, your levels are fine. Okay, if you had it, you had it. I, I had a fucking autism. Sorry, I'm a, sorry, folks. I'm a little retarded. <laughs> <laughs> You're self-aware though. What is that then? Consciousness. Yeah, consciousness. We're not going there. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> We're three minutes in. We're not going to talk about consciousness immediately. Uh, we'll, what else do we have? It will go nowhere. Okay, so we're well, living in well, Trump's well, America, folks. No, no, uh, no. Your body, my choice, by the way. Let me look at the bumbo really quick. Let me just show you what we're working with here. I had a couple matches. A couple matches? Have you ever paid for premium services? Yeah, but just out of boredom. And that's what these apps ultimately do is to get people to pay for things. Mm. I think it's well, because I've seen like my like girl like girlfriends who've had like these apps and they you get way more mad because it's like there's yeah. so many hungrier guy like they're hungry like it's, dogs. Yeah, that's what yeah. So it's like and then they'll get like there's a system. There's a there's something to the app coding that's mm-hmm. it makes it where you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> this girl said, Hello, handsome or hi handsome man. Yeah. I said, just hey. And Bumble's good because uh, w- nice women enough. are encouraged this, this to. Girl's, yeah, that is message that's a good you option. This was funny, though. I did this all out of a joke, kind of, because mm-hmm. I knew I'd talk about this. She said, hey. I said, hey, so and so. She said she's an animal person. You're a furry? This is my match with. I always match with my. Yeah, that's it. Zero and That's how I match. 
often. You would crush in New York. When you say you didn't make matches or anything, you would crush in like Detroit if you like. I would crush if I wasn't racist. That's the thing. Yeah, you're like fighting. Like if you live, you're perfect for like a city. Like you said, you're yeah, racist. I would crush if I wasn't a fucking you'd be Nazi. Perfect, but you're, yeah. If I'm a Nazi, unfortunately. Yeah. Whatever that. She, she, so she's like into animals or something. I think I'm just. <laughs> She goes, I, don't, yeah. I said, what's your favorite animal? She goes, so my favorite all time animal is a penguin. But to work with, I would work with dogs, period, only. And then I, the, today I said, ah, the penguin. With the penguin emoji. <laughs> I thought that was such a funny thing, silly thing to say. Oh, yeah, I think it's stupid. And she goes, I like cheetahs. And I said, I like cheetahs. She goes, I can. You was eight year old? Are you a pedophile? <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. Dating is. Not. It's retarded. It's over. So, I mean, the world's over, man. It's over. There's nothing out there. And she goes, I could see that being your favorite animal. Does this mean you're going to the zoo? Oh, well. And then it reminded me of the fucking callback when you said, like, going to. And then I stand to answer. This is a complete fantasy realm. Yeah. It's, it's, you're playing make believe with these women. Hell. Well, that's why I said it was a silly. Like, mm, yeah. That's amazing. I'm glad you. Yeah. I'm glad, I might pay twenty dollars so I can just get content. That would be amazing. Of what? For oh, hearing this yeah, type of stuff. Yeah, I'll just dude. Yeah, for next man. week. I'll I mean, just that was this. Th- I don't even know who. I want to get. That's that's what I mean. It'd be funny to get more matches. Cause I have no intentions to like really meet with them. Unless it was like a really cool girl, but I. Hmm. This one I mean, right? Look at right now. I'm just. <laughs> it's sick. It's it, everything. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Go ahead. It's just silly. I didn't make the app. I'm just here. I'm just here to use it. I'm a user. If I, if I didn't the, if I didn't exist, it wouldn't exist, would it? Huh? If I wasn't here, it wouldn't exist. You have apps using you. I'm subject to it. I'm the subject. This is an experiment. <laughs> the penguin. I thought that was. Cool. You seem like you could be a penguin. I see that. You do look like a penguin. <laughs> you like Colin Farrell? <laughs> Taylor told me I should watch that. She said it was really good. I haven't seen it. I just happened to know the reference. HBO Max. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would never pay for a fucking um, thing. Yeah, dude. So, yeah, that's Pumbo. It's pretty whack. Yeah, people people be crazy. What else is that? What else can we talk I had a lot of things I wanted to talk about, but now it's like I kind of forgot. People, um, how about people? I, don't know, I guess like, so yeah, like the okay. emotional state of the country now. It's post-election. Maybe I'm taking it lightly how people are really rea- reacting to this stuff. I think people need to grow up. I think anybody yeah, having why? a reaction should just blow their brains. It reminds me, I remember in 2016 when Trump won the first time I was in college, and a lot of kids were like sad. Like professors were kind of sad. Like people are like, what are we going to do? Like, what you is guys, going on? Shit. Like, nothing bad would happen. And it was yeah, just like, you got fucking Chester in the office. And then now it seems people are calling off work, they say. They're saying people are. Killing themselves. People are using the suicide hotline, hotline. more. People I are fear. I don't get. And then, and then, like the Man. Trump side is kind of a lot of. Trump over- side won't shut the damn mouths. Yeah, it's, that's they're a bunch of gloating bastards. That's in, kind of annoying too. In a landslide victory, come on, take the take, take the, the win w with some pride and move forward. Yeah, and we're a country still. Unity, joy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're about it. We are. We don't want to become this. We don't want that. Order is okay, but you don't need that much order. Oh, shit. Order's good. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, it's all right to have, but you got to have a little disorder. I mean, I, I don't think a landslide victory is a representative of disorder. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, I like lost with, where we were. Within those, it seems like I don't know either. I was, I was like, kind of referencing what we were Fuck talking about. Politics. Why are we even talking about this shit? It's over. That's what I'm trying to say. It's over. All right. Move on. Oh no, they're gonna they're gonna destroy the infrastructure of the United States. They're gonna take away the FDA because the FDA is retarded or something. You believe that? It's probably been pretty. It's it is. Hey, did you know that butter contains milk? Did you know that? Butter is milk. Did you know that you have to to be able to sell milk in America or sell butter in America? You have to like label it that it has milk in it. 
And then if it doesn't lay, if you don't label butter, well, that's like, it is that like milk. Was that like a misadvertising thing though? Like a like a lying? A lie? Was it like I can't? Oh, so what what happened? There was eighty thousand pounds of butter. Eighty thousand pounds of butter. The container didn't say contains milk. Contains milk. And it's Costco standard butter, not like some weird alternative almond mar- milk butter. It's just the standard unsalted butter you buy at Costco. Yeah, the right packaging. Maybe it was like an artistic, maybe like the designers like... We How does that happen? It's almost... Bad typos. It almost just seems like a ploy to actually just seal the FDA's coffin like they baited the FDA. Done for. Cost, they paid Costco, the Trump administration paid Costco to make a, a fatal mistake that would require that... Cause it's, it's an like FDA, more for like a public perception Yes, move. it's an FDA guideline. It's a fine, specific sentence that says... Needs to butter products have to say on packaging that it contains milk, Uh and if this simple thing is violated, it will trigger the FDA to do to to make a headline or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like to change perception a little, to to loosen the grip, mm. so RFK can come in with his. And it seems too convenient, but yeah, I mean, they they must be. Maybe the FDA was on their way out. Maybe the FDA was on their way out. You didn't want to talk politics. This isn't politics. This is your life. It's not <laughs> politics, though. Unfortunately, it's your life. There's flu- you brought the Trump administration. There's fluoride in your water in for for decades since the since the forties. There's been fluoride in the water, so you know in our everyone, everyone wants it out. Well, yeah. it, it calcifies your brush pineal, your teeth. It calcifies your pineal gland. People, they told people it's like you don't have to brush your teeth because we're pumping fluoride in the water. Drink, drink water right out of the tap right before bed, and your your teeth That's will like be my fine. One thing, dudes, like hygiene. Like people got. Ugh. I brush my teeth one time in the morning. You gotta do it before bed too. I I, I do it sometimes, almost never though. At this you got point, to. You're, you're do an you? Adult. Yeah, I am an adult. Brush your teeth. I do. It's easier if you're better looking. I'm I do. I once in the morning. Do it twice. Right before worky time. Life is easier if you right before bed. have a nice appearance. What if I want to eat a protein bar in bed after I brush my teeth? Well, that's fine. Just do it twice, though. You're, you're telling me I brush my teeth once and then... Oh, okay. Not brush three times. Not three. After, after the protein bar, you're suggesting that I brush no, my no, teeth no, no. three times in a day. Time at night sometime. And then if you have a what protein... What if I get snackish? So what? Drink and brush it again before. afterwards? I have to. Okay. But at least do it twice. But I, I wouldn't leave debris in my mouth after I've eaten. I, I, it usually I, I goes away. with some water, yeah. I make sure. It's just nice to do them twice. I work better than once. Tongue. Just think like that. Twice is better than once. Why is twice better than once? You're doing double the job. What? Did, why? wake up. And then I go to s- Go through your day. You put them to bed. You go to bed. You wake up. You got all that bacteria because your mouth's closed. Clean them up, wake them up, put them in bed. Think about your teeth as little little people. <laughs> wake them up, you got to put them in bed. Keep your mouth clean. You got white teeth, got a nice smile. I suppose that's the problem. I haven't been thinking about It helps about you. Teeth itself. Think about it in like points in a game or something. Like You get more SP. Smile SP points. And it's going to advance you. Think about it like that maybe for certain people. Just Hygiene's a big thing in America. If I was in Trump's administration, I'd be like the hygiene guy. <laughs> And I'm not even that like, but I like hygiene. So you getting out there, recording you like folks. Make sure you're out there brushing twice a day. Twice like, a day. Colgate. Yep. We're we are a Colgate country. Well, you'd have to do like subliminal. Like you just have to be like the cool influencers. Like kind of like, hey, ah shit, can't go. To, I gotta brush my teeth. I'll catch you guys at the bar later. I'm I gotta brush my teeth before. I gotta hit up the thirty two real quick. What is that? The hit of the 32? How many, is that how many teeth you have in your mouth? 32 or am I retarded? 24? Mm. It's 32. 28, right? I think. 28? And then 32 with I'm molars. I'm I think with molars. Molars? Oh, count them real quick. You get your molars taken out? No, I didn't. No, you still got them. That them. means they grew in well then. Did you need them out? We got 32 for sure. Yeah, 28. Or 28. Well, you have 32. Oh, you got you. I got right now, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I wonder how that's actually gonna. Well, they say that they're me. growing in on an angle. Yeah, they yeah. Start fucking with your other teeth. Who gives a shit? You can just take them out yourself, probably. Yeah, dude. Strap you down. I don't think it's atrocious. Yeah, I mean, who, yeah. Pour a bunch of whiskey on your face and just like. 
Waterboarding. It might come in handy see. later. Yeah. Waterboarding would <laughs> be rough. With the extra teeth. You ever waterboard yourself, like just like to see what it'd be like? Not really. Me neither. Yeah. But I'm sure people have out have and they probably killed themselves, you know. After they waterboarded like, no, like accidentally like kill themselves. Waterboarding themselves on accident. I mean, how do you do that? You gotta really restrict yourself. It's not like the How really? do you overdose on like Tylenol? People do it. I can't argue with that logic. So because right. you'd have to be dumb enough to try waterboarding yourself in the first place. You gotta be out of thrills. Yeah, or you're just not you don't have many thrills going on, and you're like, I'll try waterboarding myself. I don't get paid for three days. I can't buy marijuana. And then you're just like, it's not waterboarding myself. And then you just pour water over your face, and you're like, and somehow something would happen with your arm, and <laughs> you can't take the, the, the cloth off or something. You black out. Yeah, you black Instantly, and you just. <laughs> oh, God, I can't believe we do this to people in this country. What about like sanding someone's face? Sanding someone's face? Like this slowly. That's cartel stuff. Sand on someone's face. Is oh, I thought you were talking about like. The, oh, like sanding someone? Yeah, that's cartel stuff. Like, yeah, that'd be rough. Mm hmm. Rough. Very, yeah. Did you ever think about ways, like growing up, like ways to torture people? I mean, growing up? Ways to, why is he. Why didn't you just? Why don't? Why do you have to preface it? Why didn't you just say? You ever think about ways to torture people? You didn't think about like growing up. No, not especially. No, did you? I remember there was like that torture game, like on the on the internet. You could like cut someone's arm off or something. Just like I don't know, like weird ways to like. I think maybe because like I remember watching Jeepers Creepers as a kid and being like, "How the fuck would you kill that guy?" The well, Jeepers like, Creepers what guy. What you'd have to do is you'd have to like chop his head off. And then, like, put them in a box and then, like, throw them really far in the ocean. And, like, things like that, you just think of, like, crazy ways to die. Okay. I didn't necessarily mean, like, torture, more so, like, crazy ways to die. When you lay it out like that, yeah, sure, I've had. That's what I'm more so I meant. Okay. I meant the other thing as more as a joke, kind of like coming off, like. I gotcha. Yeah, like killing, like, cats in your backyard. I didn't mean, like that. Yeah, I've, I've shot a bird with an airsoft gun. That's all right. That's, that's that's American. Not, that's about as hard as I've ever gotten. That's like very American of you to do. Killing birds, you're exercising your right. You're Killing drones. Yeah, They're, those birds aren't real. They're not good. What do birds do? What do birds really do, honestly? Except like eat bugs. Eat bugs. Add balance to the ecosystem. The law of nature. The like law a bunch of bullshit. I mean, that's what bats do. That's like a bunch of bullshit. There'd be like an overabundance of like mosquitoes and shit and bugs. The birds, the birds were needing worms everywhere. There's worms and birds. You want worms everywhere? Kinda. Well, if we got more worms, then we can do more fishing. I think there's plenty of. I don't think there's like a shortage of worms. Why? Why? You fish? I don't fish. Why you, I like fishing. You like the idea of fishing? I like fishing. I like anything that's hunter gatherer. You you like hunt, hunting season starting? This I've weekend. never shot a weapon. Talk to someone this today about it. They're going oh, hunting this weekend. Nice. For hunting for black people? I don't know where that... That was out of left field. <laughs> yeah, was, can we restart the podcast? It was Steve. He said he had, like, his cousin had, like, a thing, some park kind of nearby, mm. and they had, like, this whole, like, little grove area. It's all surrounded by trees, and they got it all boxed up, and he said it's a death chamber. I was death like, chamber. He's like, yeah. It's He's like, my box. cousin. He goes, my cousin used to live out in the woods. He was homeless. Yeah, his cousin Ted Kaczynski. And he just killed deer like all season long. I was like with a knife and he just he never answered that. Mm-hmm. But I just imagine some guy like just running out of a tent, just like chasing a deer and just getting it like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know, like people like, like pick people people like pick up dead deer on the side of the road and like throw it in their truck for like meat. You know that, right? Oh sure. Okay. Sure. That's free food. No, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no. He's, you know where we live. Yeah. Oh, you're in Lake Orient still, so like Oxford, Artonville, Le Pierre is more. Yeah, yeah. Venison is great. I love venison. But it's like buzzard. Buzzards, you say? Yeah, like buzzard. Oh, people pick up like do that. raccoons and stuff. No, like deer mostly. Yeah. Okay. But it's like at buzzard level. 
It's it's roadkill. Yeah. It's stuff that's dead on the side of the road. Like I said, I'm a hygiene guy, so this is It's gross, you know, eating your food off the side of the road. But I guess it's very human. It's deplorable. There's nothing human about a road. Transportation. That's not a human. I mean, who gives it's a shit? Made. Yeah. He's getting some meat off. The roads side are of the road. so alien. It was like connecting. No, dude, roads are, are very. Roads are very. I think, human. Yeah, yeah. No, roads are very human. Is... Well, what do you mean? Do you what about roads? ants, though? Don't ants like make yeah, they roads? Have, like, canals and like. Do... It's, like it's transportation. It's but... our means of transportation. But didn't ants have roads before humans had roads? I shouldn't do this. Are you saying they programmed the ants and then we let's got not the same do this. thing? Yeah, let's not do this. I'm being. Well, maybe scared. it's just our. Maybe, maybe, maybe we were almost people were ants in past lives, and now you're human, so you still have that understand that natural understanding because you understood it at the ant level. Now you're at the human. Well, level. Who? I mean, maybe they hear. I bring. We bring it back, but maybe we just took. We we looked at ants and like, hey, we could do that. <laughs> Some Germans were like, no, hey, I think it was more look what those thing. ants are doing. Oh, no, they. No, because they were already doing it before then. When were roads invented? Dude, roads have been around for like... Since the ants. Tens of thousands of years. Jesus had roads. These guys have roads. Trail, a trail is a road. A trail is not... I'm talking about... It's a mean of transportation. You're talking about like Route 66. Well, yeah, but we should define concrete well, that was like for industrial. cars. That was like 1800s, late 1800s. Now I'm talking about industrial. That's like London and like what, like where where they had roads in Egypt. I'm talking about roads in the modern sense. But they it all it all evolved from like horse and carriage roads. Barry Lyndon, they had roads. This is a road. That's not a road. It's a trail that's been. Forged. That's not a trail. <laughs> it's been forged though. People have followed the path. Like well, think about Lewis it's, and Clark. Well, that's different than Lewis it being. Lewis and Clark were they were. Than it trail. being signified by like just, a sign. Well, it just happened after we made. Do ants have cars? I hate that we went here. I I'm sorry that I even brought this up. Do ants have cars. No, not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> me, an academic. I mean, there's no way to me for me to prove that ants <laughs> don't have cars. <laughs> They could. They just. They could be really good at. They could be. It. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They could be a titan. Um. So yeah, I think um. The thing that's the weirdest thing about like when you look at instead of road, like when you look at things that like how it looks like a grid or like a computer board, that's what that's more strange. Being to a, being able to view things from the bird eye view is so like that, is such a pa- weird something that humans. From the standard viewpoint of being like just on base level with Earth or whatever, you shouldn't be able to see above and be able to make plans from that viewpoint. Being have, being able to have a you can plot a map, you can look at a game board. So imagine, yeah, imagine having that viewpoint compared to people that don't have that viewpoint, and what kind of advantage that you would have over them? Yeah, it's it's a different perception. Still talking about a human. I'm not talking about like a, some some yeah, alien yeah. entity. No, but, but even when you go on an airplane, this metaphor, even when you go on an airplane and you look down, you start thinking differently. It's very weird. Wow, do you see how small a car really is? And the fact that we've been able to capture that consistently. I mean, I get like like whatever desktop backgrounds. I'm like. Somebody set up a camera here and was able to capture. And this is this is like a godlike view that we've been able to capture. Now it's my background or whatever. I'm allowed to view this. Well, it just adds your snapshot. Like, I mean, it'd be wild just to be in space and look at Earth from space. It's it shifts mm-hmm. your perspective. It would just shift like wow. Being there, mm-hmm. and it's beautiful. Probably, I mean, just the side. I've had dreams where I look at Earth. I've had a dream one time where I'm looking down at Earth. It was kind of cool. <laughs> I remember just like, it was a couple of weeks ago. I was driving and. I was going down a road and the sun was setting and like down the road there's red there's red light and you could see these cars and just how small the car looked in the distance and like in scale with the sun that was like parallel with it but like ninety million you know what I mean but it was like all parallel and just seeing how small it was and you just really see like how much of like little specks of dust everything is in like a grander scale it was pretty beautiful. I've had a couple like really nice photos like that. I have even captured where it's just like, well, you just like it does something in your mind. You just kind of like where you really like realize the scale of like it's wild. That's what I mean. Like when you go up in a plane, I still remember seeing how small a car gets. It's like it's wild. We just like live in a smaller reflection of a bigger thing, a bigger thingy. You know, it's like how like don't mean to. It really is mind boggling just how 
big the world like just some, like flying across the country just like i was saying how big texas is like mm-hmm. you drive across and this is just like, the physical world yeah, yeah that's what i mean just... it's huge though it's huge and it's but so weird how like that we've how developed it is though over time like how it really i used to think of it as a kid just like looking at telephone poles and stuff and just thinking like god there's so many roads like when did the roads get made <laughs> like when there's so many roads like it took so much work right and all the just the the infrastructure that's built with electricity and like it's and people take it for granted we really do take it for granted i mean just looking at this photography here it's insane like it takes a whole nation to be on board consciously to develop in yeah. such a way that results in where, where we, we are now, then i'm on board mm-hmm. i guess technology tiktok like like, we're in disarray that's what i mean like where is everyone on board at now like street like podcasting is that the industry like what's the what's the next big industry ai obviously your tech but it's like not everyone's on board with that either well there's just no sense like it seemed like during the industrial revolution everyone was on board with cars like yeah we, we were cars. at the let's we were at the cars. start of something it was at the boom of something but now we're at the end of that boom and people are still trying to ride this wave out and you need yeah, to that's true too. you need to you need to tighten up a little but the bit new but the new thing is it's not necessarily healthy for the species biologically physically what, this this constant progression and well, like, like just this this constant like you know this constant burning of uh burning of power or news or mm. or just entertainment or, this, this or like this, just the, yeah that's not healthy whereas like travel i mean having being cars, informed grant are you saying being informed constantly isn't healthy are you well, saying that it, even is are you even being informed though What's it matter if it's changing every other being, day? Yeah, They're not being, even your own thoughts or opinions. They're not even your own takes. You're just regurgitating things that you heard. It's like the firmware of the so day. It's like, who are you? It's today's who firmware. Who are you, though? Like, when people just talk about headlines or things they heard, mm-hmm. some news anchor said or some podcaster said, it's like, okay, but who are you, dude? Like, mm-hmm. great, you said what someone else said that you'll never know. It's like, but who are you, dude? Like, that's what it's like. You lose respect for people or you lose, mm-hmm. like... It's like that's what I mean. Like people are losing themselves. So that's what I mean. They're losing their voice inside. Like they're losing themselves. Like they're becoming. Or are they learning images though of other things? Yeah. Are they really learning? Or they're just regurgitating because they're just regurgitating news. Now news I think is just a written. Yeah. What was you? What were you saying? Are they learning? I was just what trying to be. I was just trying though? to be contrary. What would they be learning though? Like how to argue? It's, that's not really healthy. Yeah. Ultimately, I don't know, we just live in. I don't know. I there's think there's just like nothing left to learn from any any traditional like educational system. Really, I think that you can learn how to have conversation. No, not learn, but I think that's like people need to learn how to like, talk again. Any any normal like again. education. I mean, I'm, I guess unless the teacher is like a real anomaly and like can actually teach kids a thing, and it's like the one class in the one K through twelve that you have that's actually like connecting to you. But I mean, cur- as far as curriculums go, they just like actually just teach you the exact wrong that's way to stupid. Exact wrong. You way gotta to teach your own way everything. to kind of think, but. I don't like digging this into footage. Yeah. Is interesting just because it's so bright. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe people should live more like this. That's why I'm kind of juxtaposing against like seeing that, but like seeing like you know this all this technology around. Is this us. not how people how people live right now? Kind of. In some parts of the world, it's not how we're living right now. <laughs> Maybe in an allegorical sense. I don't know. Probably not. What? Is, no. That is like their iPhone. Just like a bunch of iPhones. I games. think this is just literally happening to these people. That's a bunch of iPhones they're all looking at. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um. Slavery got a lot of things done. People had things to do. You had a task. You felt like you were a part of something bigger. You got, they got things done. 
I really doubt that the depiction of like slaves being like, man, we we be we're being done wrong right now. I'm, I'm, yeah, how things are fictionalized in a sense. I don't even. How would you? Really, I mean, fucking, why in Uncle Tom? It's just like, everything's been so fictionalized. There's no way. Well, that's what I mean. I I even think about it like just like back to like like Shawshank Redemption or like Schindler's yeah. List, like these films that have these huge emotional mm-hmm. impacts on people, but you don't really. They're just accounts of that seventy million dollars made. You know what I mean? And it also made two hundred million. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then, but that's everyone's memory of like, well, that's what happened. And because it made so much money, that also even makes it it more more. true. Yeah, it makes it even more true. That's what I mean. But who made the who who made it? The Israelis, a dark magician. Yeah, Hollywood. Hollywood. That's what I mean, man. When I, someone put it, they put it in terms. And I was like, yeah, it's just a leg. And when you break things down, like like real wealth and how like what you can really buy and make and create, like Hollywood's just a toy for really rich people, like uber rich people. Mm-hmm. And so many people t- like attach to it because it, uh, it serves as opportunity, but they're not really realizing like you're just gonna be another like it's just like it's just a it's just a, a deal it's a thing that will always exist and people will always look at it mm. always will look at what's coming out of hollywood just like people always buy cars out of detroit and ford and G, you know what i mean it's just another industry there and it'll always be pumping things out sometimes it'll have better like better art and better things and better and you might have more attention and more respect towards it and that's when it's running good but right now is a low point where there isn't a lot of but there's still so many eyes from hot like or is it supposed to Hollywood pump out bad, bad and then only it's an occasional good thing that pops out? That's the anomaly. I mean, things used to be good though. Like and even like Hollywood movie, like Pirates was good. I mean, just having a bunch of pirate, like that was a good Disney movie. Like first pirate, first two pirates are good Disney movies. You know, I mean, like that's even like I consider that good. Like movies really like went to shit last time, but like, but I'd say most things like are Clockwork bad. Orange, so the Clockwork Orange is Stanley's first movie outside the mm-hmm. system. Right after two thousand one, he did. Clockwork Orange for two million dollars, shot it very guerrilla style, his own shit, and you saw what he created with that. It's impactful. It's controversial. It's just just so much rare. I I just mo- most stuff is just crap. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and that's what I mean. We're flooded with it, but people will still people will still take to it and they'll talk about it. So it's always going to exist. Hollywood is always going to exist, and it works as a tool for. Uh, just these <laughs> raping people's minds. Yeah, people love to brainwash America to make them think th- certain things. I mean, it's easier just to, and it's people that aren't really exposed to a lot of things, so those believe like, oh, that's what, oh, that's, that's what love is. Was. That's why. That's what love is. That's yeah. why that's that's bad because this is the, yeah, yeah. Or you connect to like, I don't say. Like a love story, you can connect that like to past like emotions though too, because it can be portrayed well on a screen. Mm-hmm. You know, like, let's say, but like cheesy love movies, yeah, that people are gullible for, yeah. I mean, but I mean, filmmaking is real. I mean, there are like real, like it's real, like just like that's real, like it's real. I don't know. Now we're kind of getting lost in the, in the, but just like I was just saying, like Hollywood is a thing. It's always going to exist because it's always just going to have eyes, and yeah, it's always going to serves purpose on the planet. And who's ever really capitalizing off that purpose is going to keep paddling it because it is serving a purpose. And like we were saying, uh, it ties back to what we were talking about that one. What's his name? I forget that guy's name, but Hollywood's coming to an end. I, I don't, I mean, it is, but it still isn't, dude. Like, it still isn't. It wouldn't, is it eternal? Like, I consider Jake Paul Hollywood. Like, that's new Hollywood in a sense. I mean, a more broader. Yeah. Okay. Where it's like now it's just TikTokers like doing energy drink deals. And, mm. you know, now it's just, but they're just still getting eyes and attention and talk about it. Like, it's still, yeah. like, those people still have agents and publicists that are all through the Hollywood system. They're all represented by WME and CAA. Like, they're all still. That stuff's not stopping. Yeah, exactly. It's just mm. different forms. It's just. You got to adapt to the newer crowds, the younger minds. And it's just going to get, for us, as we get older and older, it's just going to get dumber and dumber and stupider and stupider. But little kids like Mr. Beast, little kids like that stretch, get sweat. You know what I mean? They like stream, like they like, but then you grow out of it. But then there's a new crowd and there's a new guy. Like, it's just how it goes. It's, just, it's, it's cyclical. 
and it's young people's mind. Like you grow out of liking things, and then there's a new audience. Like Tyler the Creator has an entire new audience. You know, Harry St- like these guys get new audiences, but like they're able to recycle it, and that's why these guys can stick around because they come like corporations. Because Walgreens, Meyer, they're always gonna have an audience. They're always gonna have customers. That's why the Rolling Stones are still Elton John's. Like he's always gonna have. And then as they get older and older, their appearances become rarer and rarer, so they can charge more and more. It's just all like Tower. Of the, like, dude, it's. But that's what's interesting about Kanye is that he really is like not. He's doing it out. He's like Kubrick, like out of his pocket. He's not repped. He's not has no publicist. He has independent distribution, like I do. Like anyone, you can just sign up for. That's what's pretty interesting. That's what's pretty re- like as real about what's like he was independent. Like he went number one in the country off independent st- distribution. That's fucking crazy. It's not because it's Kanye West, but he mm-hmm. he so no cat like no one was making money off that. So that is like that's what I mean. He doesn't give a fuck about the money or like being famous or celebrity. It's about making good music still and shit that's probably true to him, but still like putting out music for people to get inspired by you know or relate to or just being the coolest person making art you know what i mean like there ain't that much cool shit out but when you see his it still is really cool because he's not tampered or hampered by things and got a good team around him that's the big thing is about having a good team like when you watch we watch that yadorowski thing it's about having a good team you can trust around you and i believe in you but but you have to be a good leader too, and you gotta prove yourself. This is all that is true. Uh it's I don't know, sometimes I don't even know why it's just nice to say that stuff. Like look at these leaders, like this shit's corrupt. I mean, they were sacrificing people to God, so I guess in a way what they thought what they were doing was correct. Well, yeah, but some like tall the Rizzler <laughs> that yeah. look at. Well, I mean, if some like tall white people showed up and told you that you should like cut the heads yeah, off of your lessers and toss them on the zero because that's what we want you to do, it's, you'd you probably seen, do it scenes too. Intense. Yeah, this is South America. I mean, we were talking about this at work, like South America, and how like that's not really talked about much. Like you know, Europe is more so, and like World War. You know, like there's probably a lot of crazy shit going on in South America. Clearly. How come this isn't like chest? You know, how come this isn't? We can't dig too deep into South America. It would it would be. It's very alien down there, I feel like. Yeah, that's like where the most alien shit goes it's on. It's the is largest like, continent. It's such a large continent. South America. And even Africa too, but. Who I, even I knows like, what fucking shit goes on in Africa? so Jesus big. Jesus Christ. I feel like underground Africa, there's a lot going on. I mean, just mining. I don't. Yeah, but even but like beneath that, even more. Like I don't know, it's such a large mass of land. You know you what I mean? You think that they're doing the underground civilizations in Africa as well? Is it, <laughs> I, is it global? I don't, I don't. I'm just saying. I just think of like that massive soil on the planet. Like it's such a large mass of land. Like, yeah, this, and then we're just so much, and we're destroying that land be, so that you can't grow anything on it because we're just farming it for its resources. Yeah, but I mean, even those are in such, such small spots. It's so big and deep. Africa? Yeah. That big Africa? Yeah, imagine the soil just goes for miles. Let's imagine like deep, like miles of soil. That's what interests me a lot too, like what's inside the earth, like truly. Like how deep it really goes. Like, Because if you ever see like those diagrams, who knows how true they really are, but they say like the earth, like the surface of the planet is like no thicker than a apple skin essentially what yeah like that's like how, scale yeah that's how deep the earth goes God, sciences are such fucking retards like what does that even mean let's just like just imagine compared how, to the rest of the like like the earth's surface like what we live on mostly beneath uh-huh. us, it's literally just like as thin oh, of like an apple sure. skin on an apple sure in scale like, and even that is like nothing. not even real it's like bullshit it's all what? Like an apple skin. Yeah, it's like the oil. It's like the the pesticides on the skin. Yeah, it's not. Oh, even you're saying skin. yeah, even the apples not even. Skin. Us, it's yeah. just oil. We're it's just oils really. on the skin. Yeah. It's not even yeah what we're living in. Like the skin on the skin. Yeah, we're we're a parasite. It's the Rizzler. 
It's the, it's the Mayan Rizzler. This guy gets it. Right in there. Slide it on up. It's FK Twigs. This is like what people thought Trump was going to do like during the inauguration. God, I mean, anybody that... Like, imagine if they lived in this time. They'd probably be the ones jumping, going crazy. Yeah, they'd all be in the crowd going, yeah, wild. Yeah. Right of course, I'd be the guy cutting the heart <laughs> You'd out. You'd be the fucking... Yeah. I'd be drinking the blood. Pour, yeah, burning it. That's you. No, no, I'm the guy cutting it. You're the guy reading the... <laughs> Jesus. Take the head, toss they it chop down. The head off as well. Mel Gibson, boy. That's what I mean, dude. Wild. This guy catches it. Yep. There's the yeah, These people are in it. How do you get, man? And they thought the Nazis were bad. These people are into it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, at least the Nazis were a little, like, felt bad style. about it. They like coat or Chanel. And well, I'm not talking about their style. I'm just talking about their remorse. The Nazis more, probably present remorse. And yeah, you they know, were. They had like more like uh, conscious of what they were doing. Omar, I and like it's for the better, you know. These guys are they're, like a, they're like at a concert. It's like a trap yeah. concert. Yeah, they didn't like gather around in like concentration camps. It's like, like 808s you know. playing right now. Yeah, they like pull out subwoofers and. Now this is pretty great because something happens here. The little Rizzler. He's like their guy. God, that'd be fucking... Yoink. Still beating. Wow, at least he's like... He's really quick and he's good at it. Well... This guy's good at cutting hearts out. Probably feels like nothing, dude. Probably feels great. <laughs> then you get your head cut off. Nice. It's over. Cool. Or maybe, yeah, because I guess the head, you probably are still alive in your yeah. head for a little bit after. Yeah, yeah. Even when your head gets off, how do you know you're dead? How do you know you're dead when you're really dead, you know? Yeah, because who are you? Outside your, your body. body, yeah. Are you just a recording? Are you a soul? somewhere else? Goes back to that's just a better way of saying it was written. Yeah. All right, real quick. Tyson versus Paul. Tyson versus Paul. Just a quick cut. Who wins? Because I just thought I saw some cut like promos like Mike Tyson was talking about how this was written. Honestly. I think Jake Paul will win. Probably. I think Jake Paul's going to win because I, I just think. But they're he, only. I was reading the thing. It's two minute rounds. So what is are, their weight are, class? Those are short rounds. Two minutes is short, and it's eight two minute rounds. So that's short. I don't know. I think Tyson could knock him out. I don't know. I mean, I don't fucking know. I see videos. He looks pretty intense. Sorry, I got caught. Your mouth kind of dry, so it's my mood. I just want to get there. I mean, they got. Do you have to be the same weight for? Mm -mm. It's it's being sanctioned as a real fight, though. Uh, I I think I just would like to see him win because I think everybody expects Tyson to just beat his ass. Really, I think people are. Really I want Tyson day. to knock him out, dude. Yeah. Well, I think people but want Tyson that's to win. That's been for the think, narrative. But I think whatever. people think Jake will win because he is younger and like. But who knows, dude? Tyson's a freak athlete. Like he's one of a kind. Yeah. He really is. Like he's like when you hear his backstory, it's pretty. No, like he's a monster. Yeah, it's pretty sad though, too. Really, too. Like, I guess I, yeah, I don't know the entire. It's pretty tragic. Like his mom was a horror hooker. Like yeah, grew up in Brooklyn. He used to get bullied a shit ton. Someone ripped his pigeon's head off, and that's how he got first fighting. And then he was getting fights every that's single day. Got into delinquency and all this stuff. 
some guy found him. Dude, when he was like 12 years old, he was already like jacked. Like yeah. when he was 13, he was like five, six foot, 200 pounds. Jacked. Hmm. Some guy found him, cussed Yamato, and basically became like a guru. Hypnotized him, taught him how to become this ultimate warrior. Like a fight. He, Tyson, like in the end of the day, like, he got obsessed with Alexander the Great. All these conquerors, like war, like truly like a war, like he melted his mind and becoming a warrior. He used to like, he took acid when he was like 10 years old. Like he had a fuck up brain. Kind of, like, so he's probably like a really impressionable brain. Like didn't know his dad never like, Customato was like his dad. That was like his trainer and hypnotist. And he's this old white guy. And Tyson became heavyweight champion of the world at either 19 or 20, which is crazy to think about. As a heavyweight, like he's not gonna do that. Like, and he's a small heavyweight because he's like 230, 225, and he's not gonna do that. Like 6'4", 6'5", 260, 70 pounds, and he was knocking him out with like violent, like a, like within first ten or like round or two. Like most of his fights in the first like career, dude, he's amazing. Like it's it's crazy. His He's got a crazy mind. Like, he's crazy, but, like, he's one of a kind. And, like, even his body's insane. Like, you look at his body now, it's like he's just got, like, I remember John Cena, he, he described, like, certain people just have physical bodies where they just put on muscle. Like, John Cena was describing what he was saying, I guess, I just could put on muscle. Some people are going to work out, work out, work out, work out, and they won't get big. You know what I mean? But, like, I remember seeing another thing. It was Bo Jackson. You were Bo Jackson, the running mm-hmm. baseball football. But he said, he's, he's, like, he's like, I wouldn't work out. I never worked out. Because I worked out, I'd get too big. So I literally just naturally, like, certain people are just naturally, it's insane, like, their body types. And that's what, like, Tyson's got. Like, it's freakish. Like, to be that, like, 13, like, literally, when he was 13, he was, like, 200 pounds jacked. A grown-ass man. That's what I mean. Jake yeah. Paul, like, could literally, like, he's Jake got. Jake Paul's dead, like, a pedophile, man. Yeah, like, think, it, man. think of the jet, like, the, like, the, just, like, the genial, like, Tyson's different. Jake Paul's, like, just a loser. Wannabe. But Mike Tyson's 57. Like, he's an old guy. Yeah, but I bet he really wants to beat this kid's ass. Yeah, I think so. That's Dude, awesome. this was Tyson when he was 13. That's what I mean. I remember at like track meets, like it would be some black guy, like some dude, like oh, when you yeah. go to like invitationals and you'd see oh, like, yeah. like when you're 14 or 13, 15, you see like a black guy who looks like he's like 25 or 30, but he's only like 18. Yeah. And he's just running like a 10 sport. Like it's just like, well. That's annoying. It's different. It's yeah. just like, why am I. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. And that's what I mean. He was already fighting. Like, he, like, he fought his whole life like, as a kid. He was fighting out of pride, though, too. You know what I mean? It's like a different psychological thing. Like, if Jake, if he feels like he's losing to Jake Paul, he's going to feel like a bitch. Mm-hmm. Like, he's going to feel like a fucking... Like, he's going to probably hate himself. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He talks about it. Like, it's interesting. Like, he's got a crazy psyche because he talks about that. He might kill. He's like, I feel like a bitch. Like, he's like, sometimes even like, there's an interview with him and Joe Rogan. You could tell like Tyson was like, mm. he's like, just talk, like getting himself worked up. Like he hates feeling like a little bitch. Like, but that stems from him being bullied and shit from a child. Like, be some pussy boy. Like, yeah. Like Tyson's like, that's what I mean. He's, he's meant to be a fight through nature. And then he, I feel like he has the spirit of a fighter too. But like, through natural, like nature, select nature, select like natural selection and just. Yeah. I mean, it's like Bruce Jenner, like how he describes why he worked so hard was that he felt, you know, however he said he felt, and he almost had to, like, conquer that to feel, like, more like a man, you know, or whatever. It's that same, like, inferiority thing, like, that's what drives almost, it's almost like insecurity drives success. Will Smith, I saw an interview about him. He was talking about he got cheated on when he was younger, and he said he's, he vowed to be, like, the greatest actor ever. Like, he's going to make your pick. You know, like, some real psycho shit, but, like, mm-hmm. insecure. Like, insecurity drives a lot of things. Pretty fascinating. But also, that's why it drives people to do crazy things. Like, okay, I'll do that. You know, that's almost what drives us for the success, you know, the quote-unquote success of, like, being famous and...
It's almost like being desperate, too. It's just like how do yeah how does like mm-hmm. becoming super famous like shield you from getting cheated on? I don't know. I guess like for what that made yeah. him feel like he well, he wasn't like, good well, enough he, for her. Or, like, I don't know. It was like you, I'll make you pay. I don't know. Yeah, I remember him saying something like that. And even that, it was like one of those round tables where it's a lot of actors. Yeah, yeah. And all that. I've heard. No, like, I've heard this anecdote before. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things like get, like Tyson. He got bullied and beat up. Felt like a, you know, he probably got made fun of for his mom being a whore. You know, like mm-hmm. I fucking weighs on a person. And then when you start, he said when he beat someone up, he got applause. Like he started getting applause. Like this male figure came in his life, started giving him attention, started training him. Like you're doing, it was sick. It was almost kind of like he trained a warrior. Like this kid had nothing else other than this. and the kid had great genetic. He was a great athlete too, but like he had the tools, but mentally he was just programmed kind of to be a fighter. And like his only rewards from a male was this boxer guy, you know, this this trainer. It's kind of like a create like a fantasy, you know, what I, like you what you would think like a it's like a herky, like a trainer, yeah, it's like yeah. an old trainer, like a myth. Exactly, but it's like his story. It's almost like I remember watching Michael Jordan highlights one time, and I was like, oh, this is like the archetype of like super athlete. He was like an alien, dude. Like, I remember, like, his first, like, couple of seasons, I remember thinking, I was like, oh, this is where, like, all these guys, like, the way he could jump and run, like, it was, I was like, his body type, even, too, was, like, the most, like, athletic-looking body. Like, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, this is, like, the myth that every, you know, mm-hmm. we weren't born there in that time, but, like, that's, like, the, the guy, like, that's the source, you know? That's the source. There's, like, only so many, like, limited body types and, like, phenotypes that people can have. That's why it's fast. There's not an infinite amount of Uh -uh. ways people can look, because you see people that look similar to other people. All the time. Yeah. You look similar. I look similar to so many. Anyway, that's, like, biracial looks somewhat similar to... Certain certain mixes. It's very... Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, we all are one big family like, species, and it's all pretty connected somehow in some yeah, way. Yeah, we got raped into existence somehow. It's like yeah, we're just like these biological forms. We're just cattle. Yeah, we're like cattle farm. We're being farmed. The Matrix does a great way of showing it, but instead, of, like, unless we are like, uh, that's why I always think about it, like, unless we are like. Or like we really are like off world somewhere, and this is just some big projection. Like that's the interesting thing. You know what I mean? I understand. I I, I like it because that makes sense a lot though too. Because I right, when you think about light and photons, like think about the sun. The sun is one massive light bulb, right? So it's just a photons trap. Like it's just it is like one big massive projector we're in. So yeah, we really are like in a simulation. I've come to the conclusion like years ago that we kind of really are but that's just like what the reality is you know that doesn't necessarily mean we're like in a video game but that's just what reality is like it is like a holographic thing composed of light yeah so is that are we in a video game then or is this just base reality you know what I mean that's the question I mean yeah we're not in a video game. It's just like a video game. Yeah, because that's our representation of life in yeah, a way. It's yeah. our video game's art. It's a new form. It's an art. And just like you have drawings on a cave, like video games are just newer drawings on a cave. That's a great way to. That's a great. Here, let's record on this. You can keep smoking. Shit, that was rolling the whole time. That's like a great, like always way to go back to is like, like any form of art, like think about the original form of art was like drawings on a cave for the most part from what, like the earliest art we've discovered currently, you know what I mean? It's just drawings on a cave or hieroglyphic, you know what I mean? Like the basic form is like text or some type of color painting on. Was it art or was it just like recipes to make sure they knew how to. Well, that too. I mean, it was just putting something that documentation to me, art is also documentation. Art's just a different what representation. Is it documenting? 
our uh, a lot of times you can dismiss. document like the emotional states of the times or like just like maybe the thoughts that are put into the painting or like what some some of the things that like I don't know, when you go to the museum you see a lot of paintings and like a lot of the same paintings are like you like you can see they're from a same time period or era. You can kind of see like, oh, this is what these kind of people are like <laughs> as you would say, on. Or you know what I mean? Like this is what they were doing back then, kinda of. like a lot of self portraits back then. It's interesting. And you think about um selfies now, like not much has changed. I remember I went to the museum a while back and I saw this one painting, it was like this couple like getting cheated on. Like it's like modern day stories just in paintings from two hundred years ago. And it's like not much has changed, you know? It's just what could change. Exactly. well, yeah. Well, yeah, nothing really. Just the what? Just, just the tools or the forms or like I said, video games are like one of the more newest forms of art. Just what you see. Mm-hmm. Like we were saying, like essentially if we it is a simulation, if it is a holographic like simulation, that's what base reality is, is what we're living through. It's like it's not like a simulation like a video game, like you said, just but time period. Because I feel like maybe a time period is is replicatable, in in which like they could they could nuke us tomorrow and then they could replicate the last three hundred years and you wouldn't know the difference. You wouldn't, and that is something else I used to think about as a kid. Is like, what if they had iPhones before? Like they had to have had like did. more advanced. And then that's obviously t- it's an obviously it's like an idea. But I remember mm-hmm. thinking that and that goes back to like Atlantis or like. Mm-hmm. But it's like they had to have had like things and more advanced than like. Yeah, capable of and we just don't remember, you know. We just don't, because that's something I think. I don't know how true is this, but you know, there's been five mass extinctions on the planet, Mm -hmm. so it's like five resets on the server, or what you know what I mean. But it is, it's like five resets. Yeah, who know how how you document that through fossils and whatnot? I don't know what you find, what's passed over, what what survives during the resets, the great Mm -hmm. the the transformation of the planet. You know what's naturally happening or how how it ticks like how it spurs that's what's interesting you know is it a long time of things or is it just kind of instantaneously happen hmm. remind me where we are <laughs> i don't know i'm sorry we're just talking about like like how like i don't know the world's like almost a simulation or it I'm is like sim- it's like it Oh, it's just like a, it's a higher, it's a more, more better way to say it's like a hologram. Yeah, no, it's definitely repro, it's reprogrammable. And, um, I think that the epoch that we're living in can just, it, I, I'm just open, I'm open to being, to it being changed because I don't think it's good to be closed minded about it being changed, especially, I mean, see how, how hysterical things are right now. And how are how are how hysterical are things right now? I don't think they're that hysterical. I thought I don't I I don't like just thinking that we we're always on like the brink of something. Is that just it? It always, it always feels like we're on the brink of something, and nothing ever happens. Nothing ever really is going to happen, is it? The last thing that really happened, I guess, was COVID. But before that, was nine eleven, mm. like. Big. I mean, there's obviously like her. Like, you I mean, know, they what I shot mean? at the president. You, but I mean, who, who remembers that's not that? Yeah, is, who yeah. even remembers that? Yeah, right. So I mean, that's what I mean. It's like if his head got blown off, that would have been pretty big on live TV. That would have been crazy. In televised events, we just diminish them so much. But maybe it's just our own uh, view, because you know, a lot of things are still fresh to some people. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm definitely clouded by my own projections or whatever. It's good to have your own. Whatever. You have like Piers Morgan's. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's certainly my own, but I mean, it's it's too chaotic. It needs to be sorted out. Oh, shit, piss, dude. I'm going to get no deposit in here. <laughs> um. I don't know. I don't know how to talk about things. I swear. I just, it's where I'm like always confused. <laughs> In what way? Just like aligning my being. I don't know. Just um, having a purpose outside of whatever nine to five. I mean, you don't always have to have a purpose. Sometimes nine to five just serve as a nice, fine thing. Well, that's not, that's not a, yeah, that's just like a requirement, but I mean, a purpose outside of that, like. 
Well, I mean, most people's purpose would be like having. That's when you you know you have a family. You, you, you like your purpose is your kid. Yeah. What do you think about like putting your kids in the sports like at a really young age? I think that's like rape. <laughs> like, I think you should just rape your kid. Like three years old. Yeah, I think you should start molesting your kid instead. Four, yeah. Oh, you want to put your kid? In, you want to put your 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 daughter into dancing at three years old? I think you should just uh, invite a molester over to rape your kid <laughs> instead. Actually, yeah. I mean, it's good to I guess expose. <laughs> I guess it's like good to exp- I don't know, but yeah, it's your kid. expose like, them to pedophiles in the yeah. public. Get your daughter yeah, comfortable yeah. with with getting uh, molested early. Basically, yeah. I think that's a good thing. I think you should do that. You gotta get, you gotta learn at a young age. Right? I learn at some point. Otherwise, your daughter, what you're gonna be a weirdo, a horse girl, as they they call them. Horse girl. You don't want your daughter to be a horse girl. What are horse girls? Uh, this term. Girls that'll like nay. Or just look like horses. Yeah, they, they kind of resemble it a little bit. They probably they usually have almost always have glasses. In fact, glasses. Not necessarily like an unattractive person by any means, but it's just like a certain uh, horse girl personality trait. It's a trait. Interesting. Dude, look at this fucking tiger eat this guy's face off. Yeah, dude, they're in trouble taking that. Damn, that thing's strong. Horse women, um, incels, incels, fem cells, which aren't real. No, they're real. No, they're not. No? Fem- All right, well, fem cells are real. They're just evil. Evil. They're evil. They're they're all like, oh, I love Hello Kitty. I, I love Hello Kitty so much. What about like, E-Girls? I kill myself. Well, it's different. E- E-Girls is too is a broad term. What about like, an E-Girl that does like content? A whore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't even know what we're talking about. We're talking about horrors. What about? No, we're them? just kind of talking about people at this point. Yeah. Um. What are kind of people? We are? need to make up a straw man and burn it to the ground. What about? Uh, I think you can make good money. Just well, no, whatever. Fuck. Well, shit. I go for, I guess let's just talk about the dynamics of humans. Uh, frat guys. All right. At, I'm a frat guy. At yeah. at a university. Well, like it was like e girl to frat guy. You know, just like the diet. We were talking about, the, all right, we were talking about like the, there's not many different body types. It's limited. But I mean, an e-girl is quite quite different from a frat guy, right? Would you say? Who now sells like auto insurance or something, but like still kind of hangs around the frat a couple of years after. He's selling insurance. He's got, he wears a hat every day. He has hats, to wear a hat. Yeah. Back well, how about this? He works morning. at his dad's, like, store or like his auto insurance his office stuff. yeah first an e-girl that yeah and there's pictures of her like she's she sends videos of like j-o-i works really hard like asmr like who works 10 hour days sometimes filming good content but filming. good content yeah and she's like very yeah heartfelt but it's an she's act. a really good artist yeah but she's an artist and then you got frat guy Whose dad owns an auto store. Yeah, the OF life is obviously the realer life. All right. If done So correctly. E-Girl wins that. All right, all right. Let's compare another two, two people. I see the game. Okay. All right. Um, um, dad that molests his daughter and then fakes his own death versus dad that molests his daughter, kills whole family, and then kills himself. Who's the bigger coward? The guy that kills his whole family and himself or the guy that fakes his own death? Who's the bigger coward? I don't even know, dude. That's cr- I don't even know where that came from. Where the guy who faked his own death? Like, where is he going? Like, what's he doing? He's probably going to get caught. Yeah, oh, my God. I hope they catch this fucker. Probably him. He's the bigger coward. The other guy's more committed. Yeah, because like, he did. He, he, I'm in the it's more Because like, he obviously, he like leveled it out. I was like, this existence is insane. It's so insane that I molested my daughter. I got to kill everybody. The rest of them. Yeah. In my whole. He's got to. He takes himself out of the existence, the evolutionary trajectory. He's like, this cannot go on. The way I'm thinking. Well, that was good. That's the technology, good. like, I cannot continue the species. I got to kill my whole family and myself. 
for the spa- for the sake of the species, whether no, that's actually good. So good for him. He's a good guy. Yeah, the guy that fucking fakes his own death Fuck because he wants to dude. keep like Some God. Because kind of... you're not imagine not being disgusted by what you did, but you want to get out of it and keep doing it. He's guilty. Get out yeah. as if you're gonna fake your own death and stop molesting young people. Like you're, you're daughter. It's insane. All right, all right. Next one. Uh, Next one. <laughs> gym teacher who doesn't molest anyone but makes suggestive jokes and wants to but masturbates to the thought of it middle school gym teacher or like high school uh he'll do elementary both. does a little bit of both okay but mostly we're not talking about elementary like school te- mostly middle school but we'll do some high school okay so a little older a coach there's a big we'll say okay um and then something about kids going through puberty versus um homeless man who murdered a few people in his you know previously, but um, he feels like a really shitty person. That's why he's homeless. Because he, he's he's living with the guilt of he's what ne- he did, and that's you but know he's he, never he, gone to the police he or he's been through the he system. Can't, it's fucked up his head so much, like he can't even like talk to anyone. He can't he, face a human, and he drinks a lot, and he's just homeless. Okay, has he First, been through the system though? No. Okay, so he didn't. He evaded confess. everything. Okay. Yeah. And he's able to be homeless. And he's killed people like throughout the years. So it's almost like a and passion a crime, survival instinct, no. living on the road, curiosity. Oh, he does it. Well, you know, you can't really have if you're home. If you're homeless and killing people, it almost killed, seems like a survival thing. He killed thing. a wife. And he, all right, how about this? He killed his wife like 20 years ago, hit the road, and he's killed a couple other people along the way. And now he's like just... What kind of murders home. were they? Were they pretty... and knife to the, to the throat. Somewhat intimate. That's very intimate kills. Okay, so so who's, who's like a shittier human? That guy or this gym teacher who's afraid to like really act? The on, gym teacher who's afraid life. to rape kids? He's like living his lie. He's got he's got his own kids. Oh, wife. but he really wants to do bad things, but he's too pussy to actually go through with it. Kind of. But he's a good too pussy to rape kids. <laughs> Whatever. Well, but this other guy. But this other guy is actually a really meticulous. But he's never raped anyone. He's just murdered he his just wife murders and people? A few other people. And he can't live with he can't live with himself, and that's why he's homeless. Where is this? You know, this guy's homeless. Yeah, he's just kind of on the lamb. He's just on the lamb. He's paranoid and homeless. The gym teacher's just being a gym teacher. And the gym teacher's being a gym teacher. He's a gym teacher. But he comes from Mm -hmm. like, he's like this, he's just floating through life, basically. You know what I mean? Like this this guy who killed his wife, he he was abused as a child. (laughs) And this man, you know, he had a hard life. Well, was his wife a bitch? She didn't appreciate certain things, and you know, sometimes things was boil he that over. evil? Was he a bad person? And he just got worked up. Did he come home one day and she didn't have dinner on the table? And he was like, oh, The I'm pot boiled good. over one day, and it was just enough. God damn it. And then he had to go on the lamb. Left everything behind, though. So I don't know who, but he just left his life behind. Yeah, the gym. Came a drifter. I mean, the gym teacher. And the gym teacher is just some like. The gym teacher. Kind of a frat guy. Kind of like the frat guy. The gym teacher. He likes being around kids. What a freak. He's a man. He wants to be around kids. What a freak. So we're going with the, the killer, homeless drifter. Yeah, homeless drifter. All right, cool. All right, all right, all right. One more, one more. Here we go. All right. Um, um, man. All right, here we go. This is a good one. This is a good one. Man who's um, trying to liberate minds and spirits and inform the world on just the atrocities that are happening. But maybe, you know, maybe he said a bunch of kids didn't get shot. And it was just like an all, like a sham. Okay, I got that guy in my head. Versus, versus um, um, a, a guy who, like, is really loaded. Loaded guy. Smart guy. Brilliant guy. Brilliant guy. Yeah, hot. Probably. Um, created... A company that is used every day by just nearly everyone, um, still alive, and might want to kill you and a lot of the population. Now, 
we can dive in a little more, but what do you think about that guy? The first I think the the other guy the second but guy. But the first guy he he denied it. The first the shooting? The first guy also has a lot of other wild claims and you know things that not everyone always maybe gets. Gets. But they always somehow tend to be kind of right sometimes. Uh, right? Yeah. Okay. But he might, you know, he might have said some wild shit. Okay. And he might have to like sell his his life's work versus a he guy. He might have said some wild shit. Okay. Well, he did say some wild he shit. He did. Yeah. And he he's got condemned for it. Okay. And like versus a guy that versus a guy who is helping humanity, so he claims. Okay. But so, ultimately might be trying to kill humanity. Yeah. At a mass scale. Subtly. Yeah. Who's worse? I think the, the second guy. The second guy? Yeah. Yeah, the second guy is a real wormy looking guy too. He's just but the other guy's pretty goofy and weird looking too. They don't look very healthy. They both talk funny. Both talk funny. One talks more than the other. Um, one might be psychotic. Other one probably is psychotic. They're both psychotic, probably. Yeah, but one's one might have evil. In- they both might have evil intentions. They both claim to be doing good, but both are each chastised by one another in a sense. It's 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 a quite it's quite a battle. One has way more money than the other, though. The second guy has way more money. Why does he have more money than the first guy? Are they not both? He was more brilliant. Oh, he's more brilliant. Way more brilliant. Okay. Well. Well, I already said the second guy who's evil and wants the downfall of humanity. Who's? Is worse. Do you know who it is? Elon Musk? What? That's not the second guy? That's who you're thinking about? Yeah. Who's the first guy? Alex Jones. (laughs) The second guy was Bill Gates. Oh. You're thinking Elon Musk. Yeah, they're like the same guy. Bill Gates isn't working with Donald Trump. Yeah, and Elon Musk hasn't been to Epstein's Island either. Mm-hmm. Bill Gates is weird. He got Bill pies. Bill Gates is a fucking weasel. That's why I said he's wormy. He's a piece of shit. I hate Bill Gates. All right. I love Windows. You like Bill Gates then? Bill Gates stole Windows. He was given Windows by fucking aliens. All right, last one. No, we got that was the last one. Yeah, that was the last one. You think it'd be scary, so would you what all right, so here's a here's a here's a little mind game. Would um let's say just like one day. Like one day you just wake up. And you're just like in a whole other world. In what sense? Like a different physical world? Yeah. Like I'm, I wake up and it's not my bed. It's a different bed. Like you're in a cocoon, like in a forest attached to a tree. And you just wake up and you're like, and you're not even in a, you're just in a whole other body. But there's like, I'm a bug. I don't want to go too, I don't want to like make it like the matrix, but like, I'm a bug. you're just like in a farm. Uh huh. In a tree though. And that's base reality. And then this was oh, so this, this was this was just like little dream time while you're oh, vegetating. Oh, I was in a coon. Yeah, oh somewhere or being farmed because that's like what the matrix about. They getting farmed. So just like when you die, you just lose a layer of perception. Not even if you die, dude. What if you just like one day? I guess that would just be you dying. Yeah. Yeah, losing yeah, a la- you're losing a layer of perception. Of, yeah, like yeah. another like a shedding. Yeah, and you're just. Good. Good. And it might not even be time then. You might go back to sleep. And you're... Yeah. Would you? Would you? Would you be shocked? But you were like fully conscious of it, and you remember. So no, no, no. This is the question. What if you like hacked out of it, and you're like, mm. "Holy fuck!" Well, that's a trick. Dude. You can't. How do you do that if you believe in Jesus? There's no way you pull off that shit if you believe in like fucking Muhammad or fucking Yahweh. What if I, 
I mean, those guys were all doing like DMT. Those guys? Hell yeah, they were. Yeah, they were they were smoking hash. They were retards. They were smoking hash or gooners. Jesus had to get high all the time. Yeah, dude, yeah. You would think. Yeah, your mom got raped. You would get high all the time too. <laughs> like, gotta be nice to one another. Yeah. I don't know what I mean by that. <laughs> that was like Jesus' whole thing, right? It's an immaculate conception. Like his dad, his his mom got fucking pregnant oh, yeah, without yeah. her dad. I know. Yeah, I don't know. I just saw Jordan Peterson like break down. He was like had to sit down with Richard Dawkins and had an absolute breakdown over like the the idea of like if the conception was what the conception was if there was no intercourse took place. It was just like breaking Peterson's mind and he wasn't having it. I think the man's just not as uh, articulate on it as he should have been. Oh, Peterson wasn't into it. There was a whole thing over a couple weeks. So he released this thing with Richard Dawkins, and it was a disaster, as far as I can tell. The, the clips I saw, he was just not as well spoken as he should have been on the subject. And then, like the the week or two afterwards, he does like he doesn't call out Richard Dawkins, but the way that it's it's worded, he has like a pretty prominent like. Uh, christian guy on that like can, that can speak better than him on the the idea the ontological ideas of everything that they were talking about and it was just it was just obvious that obvious that he was aware that he'd done poorly with his interview there and he just was trying to trying to salvage what uh what little respect what the internet has that's left the thing for it's him. like think about the, this is these guys jobs like uh just to talk and speak and you have to have the right viewpoints and yeah, and ultimately, he, so is that like one day, like what you so when you were saying, like you when you were really obsessed with, really obsessed with, like listen to like they, you know back when you worked at Target and you I thought you obsessed. would just crush people. Oh yeah, dude. Like when you thought you could become president one day. Yeah. Did you think like that was like you were building it up there? I was training, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But was, that was like was the ultimate politics. goal was like to fill yourself so you could just yeah, like, why the only reason you would yeah you shouldn't learn about politics unless you literally plan on running for politics there's no reason to be engaged in it at all unless you're, you're making money off it or like yeah, yeah that really is really waste your time yeah But now everyone thinks like, oh, not everyone, but was well, just because there's so much info. Everyone has an you opinion more. Everyone. Everyone's a retard. <laughs> yeah, they are. Everyone believes it. <sighs> everyone believes it right, right in front of your eyes. It's fine. Look at that ring just sitting there. Mm. You see that? It's still kind of connected. Right here. Well, not anymore. But I think I've seen it. I, th- I think I've seen it. Yeah, I'm interested I to see. Oh, go ahead. Um, no, I was oh, going to be president. No, you say what you're saying. I don't want to be. I don't want to rant yeah. about being president. I'm interested to see how people like take in my movie, like when they watch it, like on their own now. You know what I mean? It's cool to think about. It's just gonna be out, and people are gonna just watch it. Yeah. So I feel like those trailers. It's just cool, like sharing something with something, like making them feel something. Like I was saying, like having her comment "happy" with a red heart is just kind of like. I knew that would make up like if I was an artist and someone took my work and like really took like really made something nice with it like mm. and I didn't even tell her when I was gonna post or anything I didn't, she didn't even know it was like you know what I mean like it mm. took her by surprise it was a complete surprise it's just cool it's inspired I feel like I, I would be like and she's actually posted new music I saw it so I was like that's fun like that's cool to me like it's kind of like what it's all about you know or like today even showing that like lady at work Jane just showing her that. No idea. It just blew. It was like satisfying. Mm-hmm. It was just like because it's genuine too. Like it's genuine. You know, it's not some bullshit. Like, mm-hmm. and that's what a lot of people. But it was it was cool, and it was cool. You can still. I don't know. That was a nice feeling today. Where it's like both those happen. And I was like, you can still like do that. It's still a good. It's like a thing. It's yeah. I mean, you show anyone anything pretty cool or beautiful, people still react, and that's some. I don't know. Things shouldn't like coolness. You know, things being cool or like. 
just not being calculated, showing some calculated too. Like where it just yeah. kind of happened naturally. Like in my, she was like, "How are you doing?" I could just say some bullshit. Like, "Oh, I'm good," but I was like, "I'm actually have a movie coming out soon." And she, I'm like, because I feel like I might have told her, but I didn't. And I was like, I could show you something really quick. And yeah, it was just like natural. And that's how it, fe- it feels good. I mean, especially when you've had it for just so long. What? Oh, working on this? Yeah. That's what I mean. Just I finally get to it, yeah. share it. And like I still, that, yeah. I haven't even got the greatest like satisfaction from that book yet or things. like. So I feel like it was still like, I'm interested to see what you think from that book. Mm. I mean, just a lot of things. Like, or even, I feel like that's why you put so much time. You, you put so much time in these things. You're gonna get a pay a feedback. But sometimes I put in like three hours into a poem, and you get satisfaction for like a day or two. But then it's like you put a lot of this, you know, it's a bigger, it's a bigger seed. You know what I mean? It's a bigger thing to grow or to get back. That'll be like I'll I'll feel satisfied for those things for my whole life. You know? Yeah. Just because there's something I did make, even if like ultimately they don't provide for like a lot, you know, a fan, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I don't make a life out of it, but still I did the craft, you know, it's still awesome. Like I framed all my shots, I cut it, I edited it, I scored it, like I synced it. Ultimately, it just made me a better artist too. And like I know how to make a movie completely, mm-hmm. depending on the context of the film, that's different, you know, but I know the X, like I know the baseline craft. Then you just get bigger tools, better camera, better equipment, better people, maybe to like, you know, set things up quicker so you don't have to do mm-hmm. as much, better actors. But I still like to act in things, but I don't know, it's exciting. It's exciting just to see how people, uh, how this, I like just hearing what people think and see and stuff. Yeah, appearance is how you like keep yourself. Um, well, it's just like the safe. open perception of like interacting with the world. You know what I mean? It's the muted. It's the muted viewing of someone. Like 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 I said, like that blew her mind seeing like maybe it was just like how well it was shot too and those type of things too, but it's like I don't know, you look at like I like for this is kind of this could be but like George R. R. Martin, that writer, the guy who did Game of Thrones, right. like the slob. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's like what a beautiful mind. You know what I mean? But like Peter Jackson looks like a slob. He made amazing film. You know what I mean? Sometimes like it's just you that interest that 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 first like viewing of human like that animalist, but you don't understand the mind yet, maybe, or like the beauty that that mind holds or something. You know? Yeah. Well, we just take our Or just the tenderness and care someone can provide it's like beautiful too, but the appearances, it's like the first threshold of like you don't have it's not it's non communicative you know what i mean it's animalistic still where it's Mm -hmm. just like there's no talking you could just see someone like like people are still afraid of big guys where it's like but sometimes big guys are big old pussies (laughs) you don't need me you don't need me like you know it's like it's stereotypical still it's like the baseline of like identifying a person is just off off appearance and that's all you really need a lot of the time too at time yeah to survive like, kind of just to go through everyday life kind of mm-hmm. but like then you get to know someone more closer and close you know what i mean you learn someone more and more you understand or that you like you see someone's work more and more like you see what per- someone's interested more and more that's more about who a person really is to me you know what i mean like what they're interested I get, in I, you know I, I get that, that it's instrumental but I, I don't think yeah i understand that but i don't think i don't think people realize that they're what they're doing when they put certain things on, or they just do it because it looks good, but they that's, don't. But that's what they're interested. You know, that's their what they think, or it's also what they're. But it goes for. beyond that. I mean, every every article of clothing, every every little aspect of your appearance is, I mean, subtle. It's, things it's subtle. It's subtle all. Thing. I mean, it's yeah. all a magic trick. It's all yeah. a trick. Yeah, no, it is. And it's just how many people are more conscious and aware of it. I had. So this is this is I wanted to say this. This is actually really interesting. The way each piece of your hair lays every day. It's a way to think about it. Where it's um. Uh, twenty sixteen. I was talking about when Trump won the first time. We had teacher. All these professors and kids were kind of bummed out. I had this acting professor, teacher, acting class I had, and she was really cool. She was like into Buddhism and like a lot of mind stuff. You could like just tell, and she was really cool. But then she were like all white after Trump. Like she was like annoying like that, where it's like, what are we going to do like that? But I remember she said this thing, and I always used to think this too, where it's like, I always, it's, I, this is a great thing where it's like, that's why I like being around you because you'll just say things like, yeah, like, I don't know, you, you, you hear things and it's like, yeah, like, 
She said, we always, we, act, we all act every day. You talk different to your mother. You talk different to your teacher. You talk different to your girl. Like, you have a different... And then it feels really. That's what acting is. You more, con- but like mm-hmm. you're all you're. You talk to your boss different. You talk to I me. Mean, you talk, you know what I mean. You talk to people differently. You interact mostly with people differently. You do even if you're not really aware of it. But mm-hmm. we do. We all act differently. Acting is just kind of being conscious of that and like in it. But that I remember her talk. Like her bringing that up was like because it is. It's psychological. Like why do we talk to these people differently? They they have different roles in our life. They have different impressions to us in our life. You know. It's like they, I mean, they require it for the sake of their conscious too. I mean, no, nah, nothing. So that it goes to the Shakespeare yeah. quote where the world's a stage, and it's like some of the best actors are just like Trump's an act. You know, he's just fooling people ultimately, not in like a mischievous, like devilish way, but his persona. He's he wasn't always like you know he's built that up, and now he's got he's got it locked. You know what I mean? He's very presidential now. It's just like as a comedian grows into their, you know, it's just growing into it. People just don't need everything all at once, so you have to act. I mean, it's really, it's really odd, and you just we'll, we'll go from just like talking shit at at work or whatever, and then immediately, I'll one of us will go into a transaction. <laughs> I know. Well, that's it's like, like and it's a completely different tonal shift and. It's acting. It's like, were you li- even listening to what we were talking about as you we were coming up here? Probably not. That's what I think about, too. It's like, how much are, like, that's why I'm always not, like, how much can we really talk about? It's like, and even feel, like, that's what I mean. At work, like, I kind of like the job because it is kind of, like, just acting, and that's probably mm-hmm. why I'm good at it. But it's just like, yeah, we'll be talking about wild shit. And it's like, oh, hello, how are you? It is, it is like, yeah, it's kind of crazy. I don't really know what we're talking about. It's because, it, But at the same time, it's. It's also so cryptic. And then sometimes. this person's always so like confused too. Usually as they walk in, they have their whole mindset. They have their whole world that they're coming from. They're coming yeah. from a phone call maybe five minutes ago, or they then they have to go here and here. like they're always on mm-hmm. their mind, you know. And then we they just have us standing there, right. <laughs> going crazy basically. Little guinea pigs like just like losing their minds sometimes. No, nah, we don't talk about that crazy shit. It's just a little vulgar. That's what it comes out of. It comes out of boredom, dude. Yeah. It's like people standing around in a cage. It passes the time really quickly, though. Mm-hmm. It does. If we get into a good bit <laughs> or whatever. Dude, it was post. funny the other day, the handwriting. It is interesting, like, analyzing handwriting. And it makes a lot of sense, you know? It's kind of like, yeah, someone with, sh- like, <laughs> scribbly, shitty handwriting would probably be nervous or insecure. Because they're lacking taking the time. You know, it's just interesting. Maybe it's like pseudo analyzing, though. Who knows? I mean, if they, it seems like you get the same. I, I, I believe it. I don't it know. seems pretty authentic to like certain things. Yeah. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean that's how the CIA. The CIA. I feel like the CIA is on like I don't know. They know a lot of things, but they're like. Like the losers who like read about it in a book instead of naturally like stumbling upon it, you know. Well, I mean, they had their time and place where they were. Well, it's like those this type of pe- like FBI Fed types, like suit types. That's why they wanted to kill Stanley Kubrick. What he do with The Shining was like, and then he wanted to do Eyes Wide Shut. It was too much. Like this guy, that's what his daughter said. They're like, how did how did he know these things? And really, he was just basically probably just through adventuring through literature and fiction and imagination. Um, but he was stumbling upon things and putting in his films, and that's why I didn't like it. Do you think he made films for said. the government? Um, not, Is that maybe why? the first couple, like unknowingly, like uh-huh. Spartacus, like the ones tied to the studios? Mm-hmm. Like when he left, two thousand maybe two thousand one even might have been government, like for like government stuff. Yeah, because it was studio. Fu- I mean, it was. But when he did Clockwork Orange, Barry Lyndon, The Shining, he had studio backing, but that was still like his film. Mm-hmm. Eyes Wide Shut, more specifically, those later films, those were like those were his projects. So those I feel like were his. That was his art. Whereas like his first films. I mean, the killing's pretty good, but like, like that's not like some of his first larger films, like where he was signed to do five films with Michael Douglas, like those type of things. Like he had a signed contract. 
those was like an artist doing a job and he was trying to have his artistry come through as much as he could you know what i mean but it's still limiting whereas like when he did uh clockwork orange 71 barry linden full metal jacket eyes wide shut those films that's full his artistry his light you know but it takes a ton of work to do, especially in that time. I don't know, you saw the battle like Coppola had making Apocalypse Now, some of those arguments he was having. Like, There's so much worry and concern from getting a return on the film, too. And these people just don't even understand like certain aspects of what makes something good or why people like it or why it just feels good. Sometimes it's strictly, it's all mostly just strictly emotional. Mm-hmm. Um Money is always a factor, though. It always is because, like, they're worried for a return. I mean, it is. It's a business. You're getting his mm-hmm. grant to make a $100 million film. You have to have some order to it. I mean, you do, but you should listen to the director. But nowadays, it's like these movies are so, like, it's so, like, contrived and pre-shot and playing and quick. and CGI, computer. I mean, it's all, it's all. Even just like the shooting schedules, it's just like quick two takes, two, you know what I mean? You're never going to get like 20 takes on a film anymore. Because mm. it's just time, like, this, this, the industry is just too. Maybe for like the Revenant, like those films, like that was different, but like these movies that are just made to Netflix and Prime and a lot of things like that now, it's just get your shots done quick, boom, good. Try to cram it all in really quick. Cookie cutter. Yeah. Are you excited for Thanksgiving? Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. When was the last time you saw your parents? <laughs> Maybe like a couple of years. I don't really? know. Has it been a year? At least a year. Yeah. Maybe a year and a half. Have you been to the house in St. Louis? Just one time, I Once. think. Is it cool? Are you pumped? Like, see your sister? See yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> see your sister's boyfriend? Yeah, it'll, it'll just be a nice little play. It'll be a play. It, it's literally just play time. I, yeah. It, I mean, I just, yeah. Because this is whatever. Living in here is fucking hell or whatever. So you know, going home will be a little change of pace. Yeah, dude, you probably love it. You're going when do you leave after Thanksgiving? Are you going before Thanksgiving? Like right day of Thanksgiving? Uh I was just looking at it. I think Wednesday. Wednesday and then Thursday's Thanksgiving? Yeah. Gotcha Thanksgiving. day for nice. Yeah. yeah, no, that'll be cool. See your family. Be interesting. Are you what are you gonna tell them what you've been up to? Grinding? Not much. Just grinding. Locked in. I'll just like feed some line about, yeah, I've been reading or whatever. What's Thanksgiving like? Usually. <laughs> just. What do you guys usually have? Dad baked collard greens? It'll just, you know, it'll be just like normal. It'll be just. No, <laughs> anything. I mean, it'll just be normal. Thanksgiving stuff, to be honest. Turkey, mashed potatoes. Yeah. Cranberries. Casseroles. Casseroles. Yeah. Green bean casseroles. Watch football. Football on. Parade. I hope not. No parade? No. Dog show. Westminster dog shows on Thanksgiving. I'll probably try and, like, coerce people. I'll probably take the laptop and try and coerce them into watching just the movies that any movie, I don't know. Watch that alien documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Um, I think we're gonna go to like Top Golf, probably. They love going to Top Golf. Watch Saltburn with your family. No. <laughs> well, folks, um, don't forget to brush your teeth in the morning and the night, and like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to the Inner Wizard channel. There's a movie coming out soon. Yeah. So mark your calendar. 11 23. November 23rd. 1 1 2 3 2 4. Type that into your calculator. 
might be some significance to him. I don't know. If you flip that date upside down in your calculator, it's my dick in your face. What would it say? I think it would say like hell. Like hell. Hell is like 1134. Upside down. 1124. 1124. Oh, it is. 2411. It is hell. You did get hell in there. It's God, devil. And then 11 is divine numbers. 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Wow. wow, dude. We're in a... <laughs> that's, the, that's the matrix. The hologram working on itself. It's just coming through. 